This is a review of my Holman KJV Study Bible. Uh, this one is the Leather Touch. And it was also a gift. I'm very grateful for it. And here is the ISBN number. This one was actually made in the USA. The newer ones are actually made in China, or actually printed in China. And here it is here. It is quite a nice colour. And you have stitching all around the, around the edges. It is a paste down, quite a nice paste down too, and paste down properly as well. So there's no edges that are lifted. The ribbons are actually double sided satin and they actually go with the Bible, the colours, the two different colours. Makes it quite nice. This one is silver on the spine. And then you have the Holman mark. And it's also gilded in silver. And as you can see, I've already put a couple of tags in this one already because I've been using it for the last, been using it since I got it. Now you do have to, because the pages were all stuck together because of the gilding, but you do have to separate them separately. It didn't take that long, I mean, you know, you're doing that and looking at the Bible at the same time, so it's quite nice actually. You just got to be careful you don't rip the pages. This is a sewn binding, so, the, so it's not going to fall apart and she does lay flat, as you can see right there. Now I'll show you the stitching, if I can find it again. Right away, isn't it? There it is. There is the stitching in there. Yes, you can see that very clearly on the camera, but there is stitches in there. At the beginning you have all the the births and the marriages and presentation pages and all that sort of stuff. I don't know why, but you got two pages of this the same. But no. Uh, I guess they wanted to make sure that you knew what it was. And you've got your tables of contents and whatever and what you get. You also got the instructions on how to use the features of this Bible. I mean, have a quick glance. They're just a normal study Bible, this one. But it does have a few interesting extra things in this one that a lot of the other study Bibles don't have. They have some really nice... The maps are really colourful in this. And you have 3D maps as well. And these, these sketches as well. And you have these essays throughout the Bible as well. I highly recommend you read these. These are actually quite quite well done. You also have timelines in the beginning of every book. Oh well, no, not every book. It says eight timelines. But there is quite a few. I think there's more than eight timelines. Hmm. I find the timelines are quite good. This is is quite a visual study Bible. You have all the contributions to the Bible. They're all written here. God's plan for salvation. The translators to the readers as well in this. Which is quite unusual for a study Bible. They don't normally put that in. It's quite a good read. How to study the Bible. I mean, all this stuff at the front is actually good. It's good to read so that you actually understand how to use this Bible. And starting at Genesis, you get a little introduction. And you always get a picture on every, every one, which is quite nice. And we have a timeline here. And... This is also the introduction to Genesis. As well, 
and you've got your outlines as well, and you also get your outlines as well. What I like the most about this, I'll show you on this page, is that the blue, it stands out so well so that you can see where you are in it. I love the sub, the heaps of subheadings in this Bible, which is really great. And they are, they're in blue, and you can see the number systems all in blue as well. Even in the cross-references, the numbering is in blue. And also down here, if you go past this line here, and with, with your notes, they are also in blue. So it just makes it a lot easier to, to find things in this Bible. It's a great idea. And here's one of your colourful maps. And like I said, this is a very visual um, Bible. So if you're a visual learner, this is an excellent Bible for you. Full page colour maps. You know? Awesome. And and it's not really distracting either when you're when you're reading along and you and you've got colour and maps and pictures all through here. It's not that it's not distracting either. I find it quite nice. And you've got this. There is some crinkling in this. Crinkle. I like crinkle. And I do like the red in this Bible. It is not, it's not an overpowering red. It's a good red to read. And also, it doesn't, none of the ink in this Bible fades in and out. It doesn't fade in and out, this ink. It's all the same. Which is a nice change because sometimes you get Bibles, they fade in and out, especially with the red and that. And, and also the the black printing it, it sometimes it'll fade in and out but this is quite it is actually even which I was quite surprised we have another timeline in Luke and, another, and then we have a 3d map here the red you also have red we have another timeline Also have the red in Revelations. And another map. Quite nice. You also get a, a glossary with this, which I don't normally use a glossary in these Bibles. I um, if I come across a word I don't understand or not sure on the meeting, I will actually use a strong's concordance. I think you get a better you get a better understanding and meaning of the word with one of those than you would with just a glossary and this is you, you get a good size concordance in this bible as well and you have a few maps at the back you, do. you have a lot of extra pages too that you could actually write wrote note notes on like every book starts on a new page so at the end of you got all this here to write notes on and even down there so, so there's a fair bit of paper in here to write notes on, if you wish to do that. And it's a good sized margin too, so that you can write notes along here or up the top. And I'll show you the front. This Bible does come in a few different kinds of covers. Now this is an older print one, so these are the older ones. But I do know this, this Bible also comes in a personal size and also a large print. This is a normal size print and this one is printed in United States of America and it's a 2012. Now the Like I said, it is quite a nice Bible. The subheadings, you can't miss those subheadings when you're reading. So it's good if you're looking for something in particular, something specific 
and you think, oh, I know it's in such and such a book, but oh, what is it? What is it? And then, you know, you got the subheadings, which help you find things so much easier. I do anyway. And you also have these graphs in here as well. They're quite helpful. They're really good. size one here no quite nice quite colorful like I said I've been using this Bible since I've got it and it is a really nice Bible it's a nice study Bible I did have a King uh, I did have a Nelson King James study Bible before and it was a glued Bible it lasted two weeks and the pages started to fall out I was so there. I ended up giving that away because it just really annoyed me but this is quite nice you've got this it's actually like like it's been tooled in so if you pick it up you've got like a grip it doesn't slide out because you've got it's a lot of grippy where he you know could you, you could slip and he's got a nice grip now the size on this is nine nine and a half by six and three quarters and it's two inches thick. It is not that big a Bible really for a study Bible. I mean I've got a ESV study Bible and it's actually bigger than this. The ESV is so this is actually a good size study Bible. And that silver is just sweet. As you can see. I like silver. Well, that's my review on King James Study Bible. Uh, thank you, Bible Believing Christian, for this gift. It's very much appreciated and will get well used. I thank you for that. And thanks for watching. Bye.